Hello and welcome to a whole nother awesome video. Today I will be talking about what are the best 4K TVs. Alright, so let me point this guys out to you. Um, a lot has happened in uh, 4K television. We now have uh, UHD, SUHD, which is Samsung's uh, new technology where they're using quantum dot technology which sony has already used prior to this so the big question on everybody's mind is what is the best 4k tv some may argue that vizio's 4k tv is the best for what you get i mean the price is fantastic there's no doubt about that but what about the quality of the picture you get 5 HDMI's, 240 hertz. What's the problem? Well, the problem with Vizio's TV is they seem to make um, everything seems to be too sat saturated, of course, and they say that the colors are just uh, too bright, of course. That's the only p complaint that everybody's complaining about Vizio 4K TVs. Also, um, there's no 3D on them. Of course, 3D now is, a, is known as a gimmick. Now, what about OL, OLED 4K TVs? Well, the problem with OLED 4K TVs is they suffer from burn-ins, same as plasmas. In fact, OLED 4K TV is almost exactly the same idea as plasma. It turns off the blacks um, in the television but it uses a different technology. It doesn't use a backlighting system. It ha has its own individual lights, which make the picture. But the problem with OLED 4K TV is it does suffer from burn-ins, as we have seen in previous LG OLED 4K TVs. Also, another problem with OLED 4K TV is the price point. Currently, LG is selling their 65-inch OLED 4K TV for $11,000. I'm not joking. This is actual price point, like $11,400. Like this is like in Canada, of course. It's cheaper in the States. But, I mean, in, in America, it's going for like 10 or, or 9 grand, right? But... I mean, that's insane. Why would you pay that much for a 4K TV? It's absolutely mind-boggling why anybody would pay that much. So the question is, what is the best 4K TV? Well, Sony's TV seems to be pretty good, but their prices are pretty insane if you want a full-array 4K TV, and especially if you want those fancy speakers on the side. If you're looking at the C series, which is their new 4K TVs, you're looking upwards to five grand right now. Um, the 900B has come down to 3,400, but that's still insane for for a full array TV. So this has got me thinking: what is going to be the best 4K television? Now we got to take a lot of things in consideration. You have to think about price point. We have to think about reliability because the problem with OLED 4K TVs is maybe they're not just as reliable. You know, they're like plasma. Now, you could have that little light going around your TV, cleaning your TV every time you're playing a game. But do you really want to do that when you buy a 4K TV or do you just want to play it out of the box? That's my question for you guys. How much money you're willing to pay for an OLED 4K TV. Personally, I wouldn't pay more than 2500 bucks, And right now it's $11,000. So there's a lot of things to take in consideration when you're buying a 4K television. So, yeah, I mean, they got the Quantum Dot technology. Samsung. Do not buy a Samsung 4K TV. I'm going to tell you guys right now why you should not buy the new Samsung 4K TVs. All right? Hear me out, all right? So the new Samsung SUHD TVs, there is a main flaw in them. They're all 60 hertz, which is absolutely horrible for frame rates. Why are they not 120? Why did they put them down to 60 hertz? It's insane. 
uh, Sony's already using this technology and they're not running it at 60 hertz. So why is um, Samsung? Samsung is selling their um, SUHD TV for like $6,400 for the 65 inch. And it's 60 hertz. That's insane. Why would you pay that? That's crazy. Never buy an SUHD TV. Even if they drop in price, they'll buy one. It's not worth the money. It, a 120 hertz normal UHD TV is still going to be better than an SUHD TV right now. Because I'm telling you guys right now that motion uh, hertz does matter. You, you absolutely do want 120 uh, especially in a big size like a 65 inch that is what you're going to want so stay away from the samsung suhd tvs they're overpriced uh they don't give you enough hertz and you know for how much money you pay so right now you know the question is what is going to be the best now believe it or not panasonic is getting into the market they're creating their own oled 4k tvs which is going to be just as good as LGs. Uh, when Samsung gets into the market, is their price going to be way lower than LGs? And, and then we're going to see like a price drop for 4K OLED TVs. Yes, we probably will. But will it be worth it? Do we really want a TV that can we can risk getting burn-ins again? Do you guys really want to risk that? I don't know if I really want to. Do you guys really want to go down that road again? Now, it's pretty cool, though. Uh, OLED 4K TVs, uh, I believe, are have the capability of getting a 1,000 hertz, which is insane, because right now, Plasma can only get 600. Now, if they could solve the whole burn-in problem, that would be good, but, you know, with new technology, there's always that problem. So, there's a lot of th to think about it. Right at the moment, I would say that... Uh, I, I, I do like the Sony 4K TVs, but I think they're a little bit overpriced right now. But I got to say that right now, like a, a normal UHD to me is seeming like a better deal. So I don't know. What do you guys think is the best 4K TV? I want to I see your guys' comment below on what you guys think is the best for the money, for the picture, and... And for the sound, tell me guys below what you think is the best 4K TV. I would like to hear you guys' thoughts. Anyways, have a good night, everyone.